All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my planner folio for the week, so let's get into it. Friends, to introduce myself, I'm Sherry Shares Plans. I share my planner ideas, reviews, and inspirations here on YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, so be sure to check those out. The descriptions, the links will be in the description of this video. And like I said, in today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my new uh, planner folio. So this is a brand new item from Erin Condren that just came out this year. I picked it up in the A5 size. I got the black uh, color here with the abstract design and I personalized it with Sherry's plans. I'm very excited about these just to show you guys a little bit of what's in here. Oh, I already had some stuff sitting in here. This is from when I was sharing it on my unboxing video. So if you want to check that out, I'll have that link in the description here too. But so this is the A5 size and I like this black interior. I think it looks very, it's a very like, um, neutral color right so they ha also have it in like slate blue or a dusty rose that you can get i really like this black color especially with the abstract circles i think this design just pops i love it i have the abstract circles de design on my um, compact vertical cover as well too and i just love this love that design it's just so good okay so uh, a little bit of the planner folio here. So it's available in the A5 size or the 7x9. I've got it in the A5 size since I'm going to be setting up um, my A5 Daily Duo in here. And let's see, we've got like one big pocket here in the back. That's where our cover is going to slide into. Got another pocket here. One mesh pocket here in the front. Another little side pocket. And then a big flat pocket here. We've got um, two pen loops and zipper that goes all the way around let me grab it here so this thing zips all the way up and it's um like a canvas material so i mean it but it but it's like a hard sturdy material but it's got like this canvas print here um on it so and on the back it feels a little bit more padded which i find interesting but the front here definitely feels a little bit harder but it's a good solid um folio unlike the neoprene folios that aaron condren used to have those were were very uh flimsy if you didn't have like your planner in them so i do like that this has a little bit of structure i feel like my planner is probably gonna be a little bit more protected in here so um first thing i want to do is i'm gonna go ahead and switch out this cover i I got this cover actually when I went to the Erin Condren store in Fairfax, Virginia that actually just closed, but I was able to go there right before it closed when I went to Washington, D.C. And I was very excited to pick up this cover in the A5 size because I wasn't able to get it in my winter. I think it was in the winter seasonal surprise box. I'm having the hardest time with this. Apparently this is a brand new cover as well. But when I went to the store, I saw that they had like some of the exclusive covers from the seasonal surprise boxes available there to purchase. And they had this one, which I really loved, available in the A5 size, so I snagged it. So I decided I wanted to switch up my cover because it's like May now and I'm gonna be like taking this planner with me on the go to work each day. So I thought like I'd find like a new, like give her a little refresh, put a new spring cover on here. So these, this is from the spring seasonal surprise box and I haven't used it yet. So I've got all the little holes to pop out through here. All right, so I got her a little refresh on a cover here and now I'm ready to put my folio together. I've still got these little plastic pieces all over the place. Okay. So yeah, this back cover is just going to slide right in here. All right, so I, I kinda, I have, if you've been following me, um, I really, like when I'm doing my videos, I, I say I don't travel with my planners a lot because they're usually just on my desk. I'm not taking them with me to and from work. You know, a lot of other places I need to take it. So my planners usually don't travel with me. However, I have found lately that I think I've been dealing with more anxiety and I feel like having 
my planner with me and being able to like write things down and have everything all in one place. I think it's just gonna help me. I think it's just gonna help me feel better because right now I have like a planner that's been sitting in my work bag where I would like write notes on it but then like I was supposed to transfer those to my planner at home and like that doesn't happen so stuff still gets forgotten. The system that I was using wasn't working and I think this will help so I'm going to try to start taking my planner with me to and from work and seeing how that goes and i'm going to be taking my daily planner i really was thinking about taking my compact vertical but next year i'm going to be using a um anyways my plan is to be using the agenda because the agenda has the compact vertical in the canvas design so and i really like this canvas design so i was thinking about i was almost thinking about taking this with me to and from work but i feel like this isn't gonna protect my planners and my insides and stuff as much as like this folio will. And I really like the folio idea. So I was like, well, I can take my, uh, my daily and still be able to write down like my daily to do's and everything like that in here. And then I have like this blank page that I got kind of set up with like a semi mock, like little weekly spread here. So I can write some stuff down if I need to or make a to-do list here on the side. But then I have like, my daily, you know, all set up for the week. So this is what I've done. I've already set it up for the week. Kind of got like this book theme going on here. Got a couple stuff written down on some of those pages. And that's that's how she's gonna be set up for the week. So I've got her all set up for the week. Kind of pre-planned some stuff in there. So I think it's gonna make it easier when I take it with me. I've got this pen from Right Tech. This is a 0.5 gel like no smear gel pen. This is like one of my favorite pens I've been using a lot at work and at home. So I'm gonna take that with me. Um, I have, I'm like trying to, it's gonna be hard too to plan like on the go because I'm used to like having all of my stickers with me whenever I plan, but obviously I can't do that. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna take for stickers yet, but I found this little sheet from Planner Kate with um, some dots, stars, hearts, and flags on here that I think I'm gonna take with me and that way I can be able to use some of those if I want to. So I'll take that, but I also definitely wanna take some sticky notes. These are the older style ones, so they don't like fit in the A5, they hang off the sides here, but I have my stuff, so I wanna be able to use it, right? Like, I was thinking about taking, I forget what these were like called, like retro triangles or something like that. I was thinking about taking this, but now I think I might take this layers one, since I think this layers one has a lot more stickers on here. I don't know. Anyways, but I'm just gonna slide those in here. So they're just slid in the back. I'm wondering if I should take, this is a functional planner sticker book. I don't know. Maybe I'll take the, I don't know if I wanna take a sticker book with me. Maybe I won't. Okay, I won't for now. I won't take a sticker book with me for now, but for now I just have this sheets from, that sheet from Planner Kate in here and my sticky notes my pen and my planner so i'm going to zip it up and make sure everything fits in here all right that is her all zipped up you know what i just remembered i want to take a ruler with me as well always need a little ruler so let me slide this in here no i'm gonna lose that back there Put my ruler in that front pocket. Okay. Now I'm going to zip her up. And she's going to be good to go. So yes, I think this will be my new system. I think I will be taking my daily with me for the time being in this little folio. And when I have a break um, or something comes up that I need to have an idea that I need to write down, I'm going to be doing it in here. That was the other thing. I actually had one more thought. Particularly my thought is about like when I come up with ideas for content planning or post ideas or something like that, I I like will tend to come up with an idea and again like I write it down like in my phone or in this other planner and then when it comes like time to actually create content, I've completely forgotten what I've done. So I think what I wanna do is put like, I was thinking this, 
from the spring seasonal surprise box, these sticky notes. But I'm almost thinking about doing these tabbed ones. I think I might use these tabbed ones for now. But now I'm kind of wishing I had, oh, I do, I have these. Ooh, I'm gonna take these. Okay, I'm gonna bring these with me instead for my tabbed. Can I replace these? Yeah, okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think instead of taking these sticky notes or any other sticky notes, I think I wanted to bring these. And these I'm gonna take, be particularly because they're tabbed on the side. So I think um, this might help me out and like remember when I have stuff that I've marked um, having the tabs on the side since I won't see this as much at the top here. Maybe, I'll try this. But I'll take those with me as my sticky notes instead of these ones. Okay, we'll try that out for now. <laughs> see what happens, but. But that way I can write down, you know, content, ideas, um, something that pops up that I want to put together for you guys. So, anyways, that is it. That is my planner folio all set up for the week. We'll see how this new process goes and see if there's anything else I want to add to it or change in my setup. But for now, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.